G'day fellas and people from the interwebs, I'm your host for this afternoon, evening or night, DJ Ignite. I'm not really a DJ, but neither are you. And yeah, welcome to yet another tutorial. And brought to you by request, we're going to be doing a tutorial on a rather interesting plugin, which is made by ImageLine, called Vocodex. Huzzah! Oh, my computer's wigging out a bit there. But yeah, Vocodex. And it's essentially, it can be used as like a an auto-tune sort of thing, but it doesn't do it automatically. <laughs> and it's it's mostly good for vocals, like backing, and you. there's various different effects for vocals. So you can clean them up and etc. So let's have a look at what we can actually do with Vocodex. Now, I've actually recorded a... Uh, a sample, it's just one of my intros. And now the reason why I've pre-recorded this is because I'm not using ASIO for all at the moment. Every time I do a tutorial, I have to use a primary sound driver or whatever I'm using, which in this case is my Steinberg CI2. Now, in order to actually record any samples, I think I've got a tutorial on how to record. Um, you just need to use ASIO for all, and since I'm using my sound card, I'll select the sound card and it'll pick up my input device which is the microphone that I'm using to talk to you right now. And then once I've done that I would select the microphone from this in area here. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked on that. Oh fuck, there we go. Excellent. Now once I've selected my input I then had a limiter just to make sure it would never distort and then an Edison to record the sample. And then I just press the record button, talked, press stopped, and this is what I'm left with. G'day fellas and people from the interwebs, I'm your host DJ Ignite, I'm not really a DJ, but neither are you. Neither are you, or, or, or you, or, no, 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 me sort of Superman, no, 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 no. Yeah, amusing. <laughs> Now, there is actually a reason why I've gone from talking normally to going into a high-pitched tone, and that's just so you can get a good idea as to how the plugin reacts to different tones in your voice. So, that was with Vocodex off. And this is the same sample played again with Vocodex on, and this is just what it sounds like when you first open it. So, this is the default uh, preset. G'day, fellas and people from the interwebs. I'm your host, DJ Ignite. I'm not really a DJ, but neither are you. Neither are you, L, or, or you, or, no, 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 use different plugins to achieve different sort of sounds, I guess. So, you know, bark scale, sidechain, uh, stereo interlacing, auto vocoding. Oh, wrong play button, retard. G'day, fellas and people from the interwebs. I'm your host, DJ. No, I'm not really a DJ, but neither are you. Neither are you, Al, or, or you, or, no, no, no. No, me sort of Superman, no. mm, mm. Alright, so that's that's kind of what it can do, but it can do a lot more, and we'll go into that a bit further. Um, let's just go through the controls. Uh, main knob, you've got your wet and dry, so nothing, lots of lots. <laughs> it's kind of like the same as this, except when it's off, it's bypassed, and when it's on, it's not bypassed. Yeah, um, you've also got the sound goodizing level. So it, you, it has a built-in sound goodizer, which for those of you who don't know what that is, that is a plug-in that ImageLine made because a lot of, funnily enough, a lot of noobs were complaining about not having a plug-in that would just make their songs sound good. You know, I, they just wanted a quick fix that would just make it sound good straight away and they didn't have to tweak anything. So ImageLine created this and of course you got your wet and dry and you've also got four different presets to play with amazing but we're not going to use the sound goodizer because it's already built in um we also have our modular pass-through level 
Um, and we also have our high pass, low pass frequencies. Shut up. <laughs> we also have our carrier pass through. Oh, fuck off. And we also have our carrier noise level, which I don't know. If you want to know more, just get the plugin and play with it. Oh, yeah. It, it, this plugin also comes with the producer level, producer edition, dumbass. Producer edition and the signature bundle of FL Studio. And of course, you can buy it from their store. I'll I'll provide a link in the description below, as well as the uh, the ten percent discount, which I have for everything. But if that that ten percent discount only works for things over ninety dollars, unfortunately. But furthermore, we also have some contour settings. I don't really know much about that. We can also click on this to hear how it's going to sound through. I don't know the various settings. Interesting. It's supposed to say Vocadex. <laughs> um, we also have our attack and release uh, settings, which are pretty basic. You'll find them in a lot of different plugins. Um, the envelope. So, how crisp it is. What is that? What that is? I don't. Oh, that's a bandwidth. Derp. I should read. I'm reading it from the top corner, by the way. Some more shit. Yeah, formant. So, you can make the voice sound more like a male or like a female piss off and we can also make it sound like uh we can give it more backing and shit like that and we can also increase the number of voices and also the pan of which the backing is coming from furthermore we also have this nice uh looks like a parametric equalizer almost g'day fellas and people from to which we can add points to and we can also change the equalizer settings straight in it which is quite handy um, we also have a whole bunch of different presets for the equalizer. A uh, number of bands, which is the number of... Oh, hang on, I'll show you. G'day, fellas and people from the interwebs. I'm your host, DJ Ignite. I'm not really a DJ, but neither are you. Neither are you, L, or... Or you, or... No, no, no. So in case you didn't actually figure out what I was doing, the more bands I had, the more lines of... Uh, EQing. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. But yeah. And it makes it sound more or less human, I guess. Um, and we also have a synthesizer. So we can... This is, this is where the auto-tuning comes in, really. Where you can assign notes and actually... Turn that down. And have our vocals or our samples auto-tuned to whatever note we're playing. And since I have my controller plugged in, I can just press it from here. Yes, amazing. What a shit sound that is. But I'm going to show you my favourite preset. More testosterone. I know, sounds a bit suspect. G'day fellas and people from the interwebs. I'm your host DJ No, I'm not really a DJ, but neither are you. Neither are you, L, or, or you, or, no. Amazing. So what we can do from there is the the hard part really, and that's trying to get is to try and capture what we want this effect to make. So the output, we want to capture that and then play that back in a song. Now the problem with the way I played it back then is because it's a live it's a live playback. The plugin is active and it's running all these effects as the sound is being passed through it. So my sample is in Edison and Edison is right above Vocadex. So when I press play, it'll play the sound and it'll run through ranging from where it is and then going down the channel slots. So it'll actually completely ignore the limiter, I believe. Can I fill some people yeah. from the interweb? Yeah, so the limiter did nothing, whereas this limiter in here will display. Can I fill us? Yeah. So that just proves my theory right. Cool. So yeah, that's, I don't know what point I was actually trying to make, actually. So in order to capture the effect so we can use it in a song, uh, we're going to need to re-record it again with another Edison or any other sound recording plugin that you've got. In this case, I've got Edison, so that's what I'm using. Now you're probably wondering, well, what about automation? I've 
you've showed us a tutorial on how to do automation. Why can't you do the same thing with this plugin? And although that is a good question, unfortunately, you can't automate the, uh, the synthesizer part of the plugin. You can't actually record you playing these notes, these auto-tuning notes, and have them in a piano roll or, or in an automation clip so it'll play it back live. And yeah, you can't do that. You can, however, automate different values in here. So say the wet and dry and all these different values, you can automate and also you can link them to a controller. So you, I don't really know why you would want to do an automation with just the effects when, I don't know, I guess if you're using it without the synthesizer part at all, which, you know, no auto-tuning, then I guess it would be handy then. But yeah. That's just one of the main drawbacks with this plugin, which makes it a little bit more complex to use. But alas, I am here to help um, as we're going to go get through this together and record an auto-tuned sample for our tutorial. Yes. So in order to select the notes with a controller, you have to have Vocodex focused, meaning you have to have it selected. If you have it selected and then click somewhere else, like say on Edison, it won't be selected anymore, hence the title going grey and not being white. And the same goes for anything. You have to have Vocodex selected if you want to use your controller to change the notes. Of course you can use your mouse and I'm pretty sure you can use your keyboard controller mode. Oh, maybe not. Nope, you really can't. Well, that really sucks for those of you who don't want to use a mouse and don't have a keyboard or a controller. Hmm, but nevertheless, we're going to get through this anyways. So in order to record our auto-tune sample, we're going to set Edison to record, and it's already set to record on input, so it's not going to make, it's not going to start recording anything until it detects noise coming through. So we're going to press play. This DJ not, not really DJ, but neither are you. Neither are you, L or or you are not. Amazing. Oh, I always forget. So there you go. So what I did <coughs> was very simple. I just played some notes while it was recording my sample and this is the result. This DJ no, not really DJ but neither are you. Neither are you L or or you or not such a Amazing. So yeah. And then we just click on this button on the end here, which will send it straight to our sequencer as a sample. And it's also put on the playlist for us as well, so we can move it around. And do what we will with it. Why? Oh, oh fuck. I'm great at clicking on the wrong area. DJ, no, not really DJ. Yeah, cool. So that's our sample. And we can even, for whatever reason, we can resample it by getting the same Edison that we used, new, record on input, and then we need to have Vocodex. Now this is tricky, because even though this is on record, I need to start the sample and fucking... Amazing. And now we've got something a little different to what we already had. And once again, press the end button and we get it in the sequencer and we get it in the playlist. And we've got the same thing, but something different. Oh, fucking Vocodex is still on. Yeah, you've got to remember to turn it off if you're... Because when you're in Edison, when you export it to the sequencer, 
whatever channel that Edison is in, so in this case it's in channel 1, this sample will also be assigned to channel 1. So just keep that in mind, because if you leave Edison on, then you won't be able to hear the sample, because Edison is still filtering it and doing its thing. This DJ not, not really DJ, but neither are you. Neither are you, L or... This DJ not, not really DJ, but neither are you. Yes, how fun was that? Now, I haven't actually Googled this information, but I am I get the feeling that Imogen Heap, I don't know if you've heard of her, but she had that, there was a few years ago where her song Hide and Seek went really, really popular, and fucking people everywhere were playing that song over and over, and all it was was her singing, and she used something if not the same, but identical or similar to Vocadex to do that song, because all it sounded like was she was just singing out, singing into a microphone and pressing chords and notes on a piano, and it was just auto-tuning her voice to those notes. And that's pretty much what this effect is really good for doing. Also, for you dubstep fans out there, um, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on just this for dubstep, but I might as well add this into this one just so you know. But you can actually get a low enough sound so it sounds like, like for example, if you record yourself making nonsense noise like rah, 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 into Edison. Actually, I might do that right now. All right, so I just turned on ASIO for all and made this sample just for you guys. Oh, yep, yep. Sounds very professional, I know. And of course we can turn to Vocadex, crank a really nice nice deep sound and I want it to loop. I don't know if I can get it to do that. Yeah, so you get the idea. And yeah, that kind of concludes this tutorial. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I apologize that I couldn't get into very much detail with this. This is still a pretty, I don't know, a foreign pro uh, plug-in for me. But nevertheless, I've done the best I can for you. And uh, yeah, if you found this tutorial helpful, then that's fucking excellent because that's what I strive for. Even though, you know, half the time you probably can't understand the single, well, the single thing that I'm saying. But, um, yeah, so cheers for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Um, like and subscribe if you, you know, if you found it useful and you want to keep up to date with tutorials and songs and shit that I make. And, um, yeah, if you have any friends that might have any similar interests, then feel free to share this video with them. If not, then maybe you should get some friends. Anyways, that's it for me. Have a good afternoon or evening or night, and I will see you next time. Farewell for now.